Celebrities on the NHS front lines leaves viewers in awe. The NHS is celebrating its 70th birthday this year and to honor the milestone the BBC has been airing a series of special programs highlighting its achievements. Tonight saw the beginning of a new two-part series, Celebrities on the NHS Frontlines, which sees four famous faces shadow teams at King's College Hospital in London to see just what goes on in our hospitals. TV presenter and journalist Michael Mosley joined the resuscitation team in A&E which brought back memories of his own doctor training in the early 1980s. Following his first shift, which saw a continuous string of critically ill patients enter the ward, Mosley admitted to being absolutely exhausted, and said he couldn't imagine the idea of having to do it again too soon. Also taking part was journalist Stacy Dooley, who was working alongside patients with liver conditions while former Conservative MP Ann Whitcomb took her place alongside nurses in the urgent care unit, although the pair had quite different approaches, and Stacey's bedside manner proved most popular with viewers. Meanwhile, Paralympic athlete Johnny Peacock, who had his leg amputated below the knee at the age of five after contracting meningitis, was working as a theater assistant in the children's wards. He was in awe of the work done by the team, saying, We're born with this right. We're born and if there's a problem, the NHS will fix you. There were a few viewers who weren't keen on the hospital staff being joined by celebs, but the overwhelming feeling from viewers following the show was that the NHS truly is a national treasure, along with its dedicated staff, and that it needs to be protected. Celebrities on the NHS Frontlines continues next Thursday, July 5th, at 9 p.m. on BBC One. Want up-to-the-minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our at Digital Spy Instagram and Twitter account.